Armoured Corlaw, the type of Ansel, a jack of all trade necks who does not excel in any area. This is the Lancel. History The history of the Lancel starts during the early stages of the Lynx War, when its predecessor, the Rosenthal type Hogire, was already at its height. During this time, Rosenthal would go on to improve the design of the Hogire. Being a company who stayed mostly out of the war, it is not hard to say that this corporation had the time and cash to tinker and improve on their necks, while GA would be fighting the war with Omer Science plotting its next move. It is, however, after the fall of Raylinard and Akvavit that suddenly the Rosenthal Corporation, who once held a lot of power over Omer Science, starts to take a back seat. This becomes more clear during the time of the League, where it seems this corporation would be forced to take a back seat by Omer, with a large political force within the League now seem to call the shots for any League members. This is what would lead to the Type Lancel to become a start next, offered to any Collard Lynx who wishes to take Omer Science as their main client. However, Rosenthal would also have their own Lynx use this upgrade to the Hogai, leading to pilots such as Dario Empio to quickly make a name for himself and others like Canus, who is technically independent however is said to have close ties to the Rosenthal Corporation. This could mean a number of things from him being a Lynx that the Corporation trained but never employed, or that he is a relative of someone high up within the Rosenthal Corporation. There is no clear-cut answer. Yet the truth is the only pure Lancel next pilot would be Dario, as Canis would swap out the Lancel's core. So should the Lynx wish to see a pure Lancel pilot at work, then their only choice is Dario to study. Still, this is where the history of the Lancel would come to an end, as simply the amount of Lynx using this craft was very little, and after Dario's death during the mission attack on Tyria Carpels, there would be no pure Lancel next builds used. But what if a Lynx wishes to climb into the type Lancel? What can they expect? The truth is the Lancel is a very middle of the road machine. It does well in many areas, but does not stand out in any. For a start, the Lancel speed with boosters is 485 kilometers per hour or 301 miles per hour. It is faster than the Hogaya by 74 kilometers per hour, but this is due to the weight of its parts being reduced it's fast enough to keep up with other necks, and a lynx won't feel it's too fast for them to control during a battle. The energy used for the lantel is little, making flying and quick boosting easy, allowing for some nimble dodges and to take to the sky and stay there without too much worry. The ballistic defense of the lantel has it take 327 points of damage from an NT, 447 points of damage from normals, and 4,373 from Wonderful Body's bazooka. While its energy defense has it take 1,000. 264 points of damage from the energy based training next. Both of these are very average when compared to other nexts. And here lies the overall feeling I feel Lynx will get when piloting this craft, that it is very average. It's not too fast, it can take hits, and it can be adaptable to a number of loadouts, even if the arms stress energy weapon compatibility. And the reason I say this is because in truth what we have is the insides of a type Hogaya with a new body slapped over the top, a much better body as it can take more hits, and its light weight helps with its speed, but it's still a Hogaya inside. Nevertheless, that feeling should not take away from the fact that like the Hogaya, the Lancel is able to use a wide range of loadouts. As you can see on screen, energy, ballistic, or a mixed loadout, the Lancel can handle it all with ease. It really makes for a nice first craft for any Lynx. As for the weaknesses of the Lancel, well, I can say what I said about the Hogaya, that it is not trying to be the best in one area, it's trying to be a jack of all trades and as a result, a Lynx can expect to see some weaknesses in all its areas. It's not a one-note next, but one that offers versatility. In the end, what can be said about the Lancel, apart from the fact that it feels like a Hogaya, only faster, lighter, and can take more hits? Nothing really, the Lancel is a craft that can be shaped to fit a Lynx need. It will require a Lynx to decide where to take their Lancel down the road of ballistic energy, or if they want to keep that versatility it offers. Just don't go looking for something that is leaps better than the Hogaya as it is an upgrade in the right direction, and between the two a newer Lynx should go with a Lancel, just to be able to keep up with the next technology being used out there. Here ends the report on the next, known as the Type Lancel. That's it. Battle over. You and I, we work well together.